Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're making an exploding treasure chest. In today's episode we're rigging the chest ready for animation and in later episodes we'll be adding coins and animating and all sorts. If you haven't already make sure you've looked at the other episodes where I talk about the gold coins and building the treasure chest. Also if you're new to animation then do check out my animation beginner's guide playlist. And if you're completely new to Blender, then check out my beginner courses and beginner playlists. Links in the description and check the playlists in the channel. So this is what we're hoping to end up with. A treasure chest that bounces out like this. You can see the bones there and if I hide the bones, that's what it looks like. So we'll have a bit of fun with that. So this is where we got up to last time. We've got the lock and the chest as two separate objects, but the treasure chest itself has got an inside. So if I go into edit mode now, if I press L over the top, it should select all the top section as long as we haven't got any merged vertices, which we haven't. So I can now press P to separate by selection. I could always separate by loose parts as well, but I'll just do separate by selection. And there we go. Now that's a separate object. If I go back into object mode with tab, I can select all three of these objects now. Okay, so I find the easiest way to do this is animating with some bones and having an armature for the treasure chest. So let's start by putting it onto a floor first. I'll press one on my numpad for front view, select all, G to grab and just move it above the floor. I'm holding down shift because it's a little bit easier to make minor adjustments. So about there looks good. Shift A to add mesh plane. I'll press alt G to remove any transforms and scale it up so we've got a floor. So alt G removes any movements or removes any grabbing. So let's set up an armature for this. I press Shift A to add and then down to armature and single bone. You may not have the other options, they're add-ons like Rigify. If I go to side view now, I can see my bone there and I want to bring it to the back and have a bone for the top of the chest and a bone for the bottom of the chest. But if I move it now, it goes behind my chest. So we need to come to the object data properties, into viewport display and in front. Now, although it's positioned in the middle, it will be viewed in front of my mesh. I'll bring this to here, into edit mode, select the end of the bone, press G to grab and move it to the front. So this will be the bone that controls the top of the chest. I'll click at the beginning of my bone now with left click, E to extrude and pull out another bone coming down here and that will be the bottom of my chest. So we've got two bones and I'm going to attach the top of the chest and the lock to the top bone and the bottom of the chest to the bottom bone. So in order to do that, I need to go into pose mode. So I can press control tab to bring up the pie menu and choose pose mode. And now they turn blue when I select them. Or we can obviously choose pose mode up here. So I want this top one selected, back into object mode with control tab, not tab because that will take you to edit mode. So control tab, object mode. It can get a tiny bit confusing that because control tab will take you to the other mode that isn't edit mode. Don't worry too much, but if you don't get the pie menu when you're doing control tab, you can just press tab to go into edit mode. It'll all make sense once you start using it more often. If you're confused, just use these up here. So I'm in object mode. Now I can select the top of my chest and the lock and then the bones. It's important that you select the bones last because then they're the active object. Now because I selected that one bone in pose mode, the top bone, it knows that's still the relevant bone. So when I press control P, I've got an option here to parent. So I'm parenting the top of the chest and the lock. Control P, parent, and I'm parenting it to the bone that I selected in pose mode. Okay, so if I click that now, if I go back into my bones with control tab, that will take me to pose mode. Now if I rotate this, it moves the top of the chest. But if I move the bottom one, it does nothing. That's because of the top of the chest is only attached to that bone. So it's much easier than automatic weights and doing some weight painting and things. So if I select the bottom bone now in pose mode, so it will turn blue, then go to object mode with control tab or choose up here, select the bottom chest, select my bones. And remember you must have chosen that bottom bone in pose mode. And it still remembers that control P and parent to bone. Okay. Then when I choose the bones into object mode with control tab, now if I move the bottom, the bottom moves as well. So I right click to cancel that. Now we're not quite ready for animation just yet. 
This is great because we can select these and rotate either bit of our chest, but I think it'd be really helpful to have another bone that we can control the movement of the chest. Rather than having to select them both and grabbing, we can select just one bone and move both these. So both these are going to be parented to a main bone. So I'll go back into edit mode. So edit mode, remember, is where you'll do all the edits of your bone. Pose mode is where you do the posing and you have to think about pose mode for your parenting objects. So if I press Shift A now, it just adds a bone. There's no menu because that's the only thing it can add. If I now bring this, G to grab, down to here, so I can select the middle of the bone and G to grab to pull that in here. So I can select the middle of the bone to select the whole thing, or I can select either end. And I want to select both these and parent them to this one. So I select this one last and then press Control P and I say keep offset. If I say connected, the bones will jump to that bone and they'll become connected physically. But the offset will do this, it will allow them to have an offset. So these two are now children of this one. So if I go to pose mode with Control P, pose mode, the pie menu came up because there were two options. I could have gone back to object mode or to pose mode. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too confusing. Again, just use the menu up here if you're confused. So I can move this one and it will move the top. I can move this one and it will move the bottom. And I can move this one and it will move all of them because they're both parented to this one. So now I can move my chest around and turn the top nice and easily. Okay, so that was rigging our treasure chest. Next episode, we will be animating. Thanks for watching. See you next time.